options being a value creation tool in the domain of corporate finance these can be used with reference to the bonds and stocks of a corporate firm let's take an example in which stock can be used as a call option over the firm now in this case uh, we have a firm which has a debt issue to fund a venture undertaken now there is an amount of 800 as a principal and interest which is to be due to the bond holders of the uh, firm and this amount will be paid in the next year we have two scenarios one is the success scenario and the second is the failure scenario in success scenario we have two further scenarios where we have very successful game as a venture and in the second success scenario we have a moderated success of our game venture under both the success scenarios the cash flows are thousand dollars and eight hundred and fifty dollars to the firm as a future cash inflow now with these future cash inflows firm can easily pay back the eight hundred dollars to the investors of the funds that is the debt holders now after paying off the debt holders under these two scenarios the the, the leftover cash is Two hundred dollars and fifty dollars, respectively. Now, on the second side, there is a failure scenario in which we have further two scenarios. That is, moderately failure scenario, and the second is the uh, outright failure scenario. In these two scenarios, the cash inflows are seven hundred and five hundred dollars, respectively. So, paying off them the full amount, it leaves nothing for our stockholders of the firm now in the graph we see that the success scenario is encircled with color of black and uh, the red circle is with the failure scenario now we see that in case of success the board holders are fully paid and then the extra cash flows are going towards the stockholders but in the case of failure bond holders are insufficiently paid as a result there is nothing left for the stockholders of the firm so an insight in this uh, case is that there is a relationship between common stock and the firm and that relationship can be expressed in terms of options now let discuss if, if the firm is expresses expressed as in terms of a call options then the position of stockholders would be what now the firm is treated as an underlying asset in our example upon which the stock is treated as an a uh, call option now the bondholders can be viewed as the firm's owners and the stockholders now have a call option on the firm with the exercise price of $800 now for the firm cash flows over $800 the excess amount will be repay uh, given to the stockholders as they will exercise their option they would buy this firm from the bond holders against the repayment of $800 and the net cash flows in this particular case will be that the uh, very successful in case of very successful games the net cash flow will be $200 goes to the stockholders and in case of moderately success the net cash flow of $50 that will go to the stockholders so stockholders are going to have a surplus amount of cash under both the cases after the repayment to the bondholders their full amount and if the cash flows are uh, less than $800 then in that case the stockholders will not buy this firm as they will not exercise their options and they will walk away from the call the bondholders will uh, would then get the firm firms rather entire cash flow so in case the cash flows are less than $800 the stockholders will not exercise their calls and all the cash flows will go to the bondholders
in second scenario we have the firm as an ex uh, as expressed in terms of a call option the position of bond holders the bond holder position will be that they are owing the firm they have written a call on the firm with the exercise price of $800 if the firm's cash flows are beyond below the $800 then all the cash flows will go to the bond holders they will retain the ownership of the firm and if the cash flows are over above $800 then they will get up their whole amount including principal and the interest there on the stockholders will uh, will buy the firm and they will purchase it from the bond holders against the their due amount of $800 and the surplus cash will also go to the stockholders as a whole 